The valley housing market continues to slow down. Last month was the worst August in terms of numbers of sales since 2008. Let's look at how interest rates, affordability, and supply and demand are impacting your experience in today's real estate market and this month's market update. This is Eric Carlene with Realty One. Annual home value appreciation based on the annual average price per square foot is still strong for homeowners. Home values in the last 12 months are up 22.5% in the valley over the previous 12 months period. Home values appreciation is making affordability challenging for people trying to get into a home. You may have heard news stories about the home prices recently falling and that's true. Prices hit a peak in May of this year and the sales price per square foot has fallen more than 5% over the last four months. But remember, annual appreciation is still pretty fairly which versus last year. Unless you bought a home in the last few months, your property more than likely has appreciated handsomely over the last year. Buckeye has the weakest market for sellers in the valley, is seeing inventory triple the number of buyers in escrow, which is pretty unusual for Buckeye. But even there, appreciation is still up over 15% versus last year. With skyrocketing prices over the last two and a half years and interest rates at the highest they've been since 2008, affordability is slowing down buyer demand. Incomes just haven't kept up with home prices and people can't afford to buy. As much as the number of active listings has grown over the last six months, you'd think the market would have shifted into a buyer's market by now. But inventory is still over 20% below where it should be for today's population. So with the rise in inventory and the slowdown in demand, we have very quickly moved from an on-fire seller's market to more of a normal market with lower volume than usual, but current steady market balance. Will prices continue to fall? Maybe, but most likely not for very long. We still don't have enough housing in the valley for our continually growing population. This is an ideal time for buyers to find a little less competition and sellers willing to negotiate and contribute towards closing costs. Back in March, 3% of sales closed with sellers contributing to buyers' closing costs. Last week, over 17% of closings had seller concessions, and that's a massive shift. And for sellers looking to sell, it's no longer as easy as placing a house in the MLS and putting up a sign and getting an offer in a couple of days. Today's market takes a little longer, and it takes marketing skills and tools to get the house sold. And as a trusted advisor like me to help you make it happen, if you're thinking it's time to make a move, let's talk. I'm Eric Carlene with Realty One. Thank you.